it's time for your Framework Fortune Daily Crypto Update. So let's not waste any time. We already know things is looking pretty bad. Bitcoin has cracked this strong trend line here on the daily chart. It is trying to hold up this 45,000 area. If it can hold there, like I said, then we could see it back over 60. It's not time to panic yet, I don't think, because that's a good buy and volume push. But let's look at it on the four hour. So at the moment, it is getting held up at 50,000. We do not want to see 50,000 hold as resistance for very long. We're right at 49,000, but this needs to pop back above 50,000, get back on this trend line to be back on track for a rip. If it does not and it keeps following, like I said, 45,000, and if it cracks that, then it's going to get nasty. Also in Bitcoin news, if you haven't heard yet, Elon Musk tweeted out that they are no longer accepting Bitcoin at Tesla and that is part of the reason why Bitcoin is dropping. We were looking at the stock market yesterday because it had a big pullback and that was at the same time of cryptos but the stock market did rebound. Cryptos are trying to rebound right now. If we go over to Ethereum and you see on the daily it's holding up that 3500 support look at it on the four hour this could end up being a head and shoulders on ethereum right here would be a shoulder this would be the head and then if it makes another shoulder and doesn't make a new high up then it could drop right off now ethereum is not even close to its trend line so it is very possible we could get a pullback but the fire has really been there for ether lately even with these pullbacks it's still showing bullish strength up out of this triangle breakout we just got to wait and give it a chance to kind of see which way it's going to start going again. Litecoin getting hit pretty hard. Big pullback on it down to the 300 area. This could be possible buying opportunities if it can hold up. There could be some new support right here building. Currently trying to get back above that support. We do have support lines all the way down through here as well. And then it's way up off the uptrend too. So I'm still pretty bullish on Litecoin. Like I said, this could be good buying opportunities. And if it doesn't hold up there, I would definitely like it at 275. Dogecoin did break this downtrend. And Dogecoin is also back above its uptrend. Currently on its way to try to test 50 cents. So the Doge, the underdog, may not be out of the fight yet. There still may be a shot that Dogecoin runs back up to the 75 cent area because that community does not seem to be letting up on the buying. If Doge doesn't hold up above the trend line though, you will see this pullback probably down to the 25 cent area and it'll probably hover there for a little while. Matic we've been keeping an eye on because it did pop all the way up to that 125. Pulling back now, but just pulling back to the dollar area. I expect this dollar support to hold, so Matic at a dollar may not be a bad price but you can kind of draw this little short term trend line that we may have started we got to see if that's going to hold though so far it is this candle is pretty ugly though a lot of selling pressure pushing it down so we'll see what happens there if it holds and starts to climb back up could be a good chance to make some quick profits on a trade or a, on a day trade or a swing trade who knows but it's not looking too bad StormX really, really eating it all the way down under four cents. But even though it has dropped to there, it is if it can hold up in this three and a half area, that's still a higher low than this previous low at three cents. So if it starts to come back up after this, if it's bouncing right off of that area, it could come back up into this triangle in the next couple of days and still get that five cent breakout. So I have a couple I want to take a look at that I think could possibly be some good trades here in the next couple of days. This is REN. It is under a dollar, but as you can see, the trend line has held up. It's currently testing the trend line right here. If it can bounce off of this, 85, 86 cent area could be possibly good entries. Looking for it to come back up and break over a dollar up out of this triangle. Another one to kind of keep an eye on. Another one to kind of keep an eye on is S T O R J Storage or whatever this is. Kind of in the same type of pattern, a big triangle, but still on this uptrend, holding the uptrend as of now. Has a really sharp sell-off downtrend. So if buying volume starts to come back in like it was here, 
we could see this pop up out of this triangle and maybe go on another move. Anchor, same thing. This one is really cheap. This one's around 13 cents right now, but still building these higher lows. You have the big wedge triangle testing the uptrend right now, and possibly we could see the same thing, another bounce and shoot up. TRB is another one that I have been battling with. You guys have seen me battle it in the live streams. It's a back and forth fight between me and this crypto when we start trading and sparring with each other. But currently on a very strong downtrend, finding and hitting this $100 area, it is getting held down right now by this old support that's starting to become new resistance. This thing does rip really hard though when buying volume comes in. So if people think this $100 line, which was resistance a couple of times back here and then support here, if they think that the $100 is a good price for TRB, we could see buy and come back in this downtrend break and it's try to shoot up and test all of these resistance levels once again. So overall, my overview right now is cryptos are still bullish. It's not quite yet to throw in the towel, but it is the time to kind of keep an eye on things because if these trend lines don't hold up, then this crash could continue. But I think at this point, we are finding good support levels on many of the cryptos, and if those levels hold, we'll start to see everything heat back up again. So that's it for today's video. We'll be back tomorrow with another daily crypto update. Remember, if there's any coins that you want me to cover that I'm not already covering, leave it in the comments below. So as always, I appreciate everybody joining me. Stay safe out there. Until next time.